we're going to take a moment to look at some of the spring bulbs that I have going in my garden. Um, and so I wanted to start with these, which are really just one of my all-time favorites. They are a uh, species tulip. I'll put the name up there on the screen. Oops, let me see if I can get that in there where you can see it a little better. Um, so it's a species tulip. I'll put the name on the screen. And I wanted to show this one to you in particular because for a tulip, I think it's uh, pretty special in the sense that um, it really naturalizes well, and but not in a mm, pushy or invasive way. Um, but, you know, just kind of, I've had this in my garden and now it's spread around to different places and and uh, this is its bloom. But what's really cool about it is its foliage is pretty small, pretty diminutive, which means that as the bulb, uh, as that foliage fades, that it's, uh, it's pretty graceful in its demise in that that foliage doesn't hang around and look awful for a long time. Um, and it just shares space really well with other uh, plants. And so in this bed in particular, uh, those bulbs are providing some color now. And then later, we've just got lots of other stuff that will be happening. We've got a Agastache in there. We've got a crazy little annual. You can just see different, different plants. Um, so right this moment, it's those bulbs. Later, it will be a riot of all sorts of different things. So that's the uh, tulip. This is another um, uh, species tulip that has naturalized in my garden um, in this section. And again, I'll put the name up on the screen um, so that you can see that. Uh, but this is also a pretty polite little tulip that is um, not quite as um, rigid as some of the uh, other types of tulips like this guy he's a straggler of oops sorry there he is he's kind of more of a traditional tulip and I like him fine um, but these last a lot of times these other tulips these are just remnants of uh, traditional tulips that I have planted at different times. And from the moment you put those in the ground, they just get weaker over time. Uh, just the hybrid tulips, right? So this is um, a hybrid tulip and I know they look very, very similar and I apologize for that. I wish I found a little better example. Um, but this is a species tulip and the difference the main difference being that this one gets stronger as the years go on. It um, naturalizes, meaning that it reproduces itself and kind of finds spaces in the garden to um, adapt to. And so it's gotten stronger over time versus the, you know, the typical hybrid tulips. They just get weaker as the years go by. Another bulb that I really uh, value a lot is this one. It's a corm. It's an anemone. It's kind of getting to the end of its bloom, but you can see that's the foliage. That's the remaining blooms. And um, they have been blooming for me for weeks. And as I said, they're kind of getting to the end of their, um, their season. But I've had those in my garden also for a long, long, long time. And... Um, they naturalize readily, yet not in a way that is too pushy. So they share space well with others and um, are just a great way to uh, introduce some early season color with bulbs and with uh, the ability to kind of use that piece of ground later. So in this area right here, other things are going to be coming to the fore as the uh, season unfolds. And I want to talk about this section, even though right now at the moment, we're not really seeing a lot of spring bulbs, but 
what we are seeing is the um, foliage from the crocus that has they've gone dormant and so it's just kind of like grassy um, so the flowers are spent the foliage is still there it is in the process of dying back and pretty soon it will but this whole area in here um, it it is self mulching right so right now you don't see any uh, mulch layer it kind of looks like it's just plants and only plants and uh, honestly maybe it even looks a little weedy right now but fact of the matter is is those are all purposeful and chosen plants uh, carpeting the ground here and um, I, so I wanted to kind of show that to you and say that sometimes we talk about plants being the best mulch and weed suppression and this is definitely an example of that type of section in my garden. So none of that is weeds. Well, I'm sure there's some weeds in there, but that is fully planted with lots of different plants that ebb and flow and come and go uh, throughout the season.